Protect yourself at all times. Obey my commands at all times. Gentlemen, let's do this. It's a southern suburb of Texas. Record of 16 and 0, 13 by knockout. Okay. You know, I don't think it's going to be too difficult. Lo Greco, yeah, he knows use how it. to fight. He knows uh, he knows how to fight southpaws. He fought for the Italian national team and the Canadian national team, so he's been there before, Marv. And you see those punches thrown by Le Le Greco faced Hector Orozco over three years ago. Le Greco won by decision over Orozco. Come out and get an early and a quick start. No one expects Stop. him to do well again. Yeah, Ray, sometimes it can be very difficult to get up for a replacement opponent. So we'll uh, see how Spencer's focus is tonight. But so far, it looks pretty sharp in this first. his last fight back in April at Barclays in Brooklyn. Fourth round TKO over Sandy. Spencer's jab a little bit, so good stuff. Nice left hand by Spencer. Well, they have to be very careful, Spence, and particularly Bird, a 32-year veteran. He's had eight world title fights over the, the past year. Try to muck things up here at the end of the first round. Well, we've been talking about Appian won the National Golden Gloves welterweight well title back in, in 2009. Steve Farhood, our unofficial scorer. I want to give some great advice uh, to the fighter. Told him, don't, you know, just don't get frustrated because he can't just knock this guy out. <laughs> this guy's here to stay. He's a tough guy. You know, he went 10 rounds with Sean Porter Ray, so he's definitely a credible guy. But, you know, if you're in the corner of Phil Logreco, you got to be happy with how that first round went. He landed oh. some good shots, but, uh, you know, Errol Spence starting to pick it up now. Let's go to Daniel Jacobs. Daniel. Hey, Mark, well, side action, side action. I was talking to Errol Spencer's dad, and they seem to be trying to figure out how to get him, keep it stiff and keep it firm. Go, and he'll go. be able to have more success with that jab. Double it up, double it up. And here, the word from Spencer's corner to double up on those blows, which he's been doing. And has been landing. Bring those hands down. Nice Great. shot, Platinum. Great point, Ray. Those body shots are so good that he can actually split the guard. He's making Phil Ogreco uppercut. Seconds. Time. Round two. As we mentioned earlier, Ted, if 13 of Spence's knockouts have come in three rounds or 18 body shots landed by Spence in the second round, Ray. And you know he, get, he gets that from his amateur background, knowing exactly how to execute a punch, to deliver the proper punch, to stay on balance. Get off the this is out of Lemp. Uh, yes. Whoa! Oh. Down oh. goes Lopreco. Four. It was an accumulation of punches. He's put them together quite well. Body shots, head shots, all inside. And again, Spence to the head. Lots of time remaining. Two minutes to go in this third round. You can see that LaGreco is wobbly, understandably. Spence is not rushing. He's taking his time. He's picking his shots. Very impressive. You know, this is what we talked about yesterday. Everybody said, who has Spence fought? Uh, you know, who has he beat? And as he moves up in opposition, you can see Spence continue to do this to uh, high-level boxers. And Spence looking to conclude matters here in round three. Oh, right hand by LaGreco got in. Let him go, let him go, let him go. Another right hand by Spence. Look, Greco's in bad, bad shape here, Marv. Referee needs to take a real good look or just a good punch or two away from Spence ending things. Coming up on a minute to go in this third round. It's all Spence and it's all over. It's responding, good stop and drop a bird. Well, Spence told me that he wanted this. The truth, Spence Jr.